Well, Cara Slabana, a new deal with AFC Wimbledon. How do you feel about signing that? Um, I'm absolutely over the moon to sign for this massive club. And it's all I've been working for this season and I've, um, and thankfully I've achieved it. So just turn the clock back, just remind us that it was, it was a family linked to a Wimbledon legend that got you into Wimbledon in the first place, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, with Jason Newell. Um, I had a good chat with him at the end of this of the season just gone. We played one last game and yeah, it was nice to catch up. But yeah, it's, um, it was him that um, recommended me to the club and, and thankfully um, he done that because it's really helped me. And for those that don't know, your background, you started off at Derby County, you got good grounding there in football, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I joined Derby when I was seven, and um, obviously I had a long spell there from growing up and stuff, and you know, I started a new challenge here at Wimbledon, and I've really enjoyed it, and it's been, it's been really good. And of course there's the England connection as well, you came through with a group of England players, and um, one of them being Trent Alexander-Arnold, he's had a rather good year, hasn't he? Yeah, he has, yeah, I still speak to Trent every now and again, but, um, but yeah, it's a credit to himself, really, he's... He's done really well for himself in the last couple of years and obviously I always used to say like, so, um, like we used to look up to Kyle Walker and stuff and he's playing alongside him now, like for England and stuff, so it's a credit to him and I feel like I can um, join those levels soon. So focusing on yourself now of course as well, I mean coming to Wimbledon, working with Alan Reeves initially as well, how much did that help get you into to work, to knowing about the club? Um, Reeves was really good to me, um, he helped me with a, with a lot of things and obviously he's helped a lot of lads like Paul and Toby. Obviously, and we were playing regular football and stuff, and he's helped us kind of grow up really in a short space of time. And he um, he's passed obviously those three on to Wally, and they've done really well for themselves. And hopefully, I can follow those three footsteps. Yeah, because you initially came here under a different manager. Wally Downs has come in now. How have you found that? Um, it's been different, but um, I think it's been a, it's been quite good for me really. Is um, he said straight away that he he wants to help us young players in every every way he can off the pitch and on the pitch. And um, hopefully I impressed him in that short space of time and you know, I travelled with the first team and it's been a really good experience for me and he's helped me a lot, talking to me and stuff, asking how the 23s games are going. Obviously when I went on loan he asked me every week how the games have gone so I think me and him have had a good connection really and hopefully that can carry on. Yeah, you mentioned about going away with the group as well. You've been away with the first team. I think the first one was, was Fleetwood, wasn't it? You went away to Fleetwood. Yeah. How did you find that? It was good uh, for the FA Cup game. I was actually in my initiation and singing and stuff, but all the lads welcomed me on board and, and all the staff did as well, and obviously Wally did and, and stuff. So it's been really good. They've all welcomed me with open arms, and hopefully I can help the team now going forwards with that. And the loan spell at Tamworth, how much did that help as well last season? Um, it was good. Um, like I said, me and Wally had a good chat in Glen as well. Before I went there, you know, it was, they said, you know, you've, you've done your part for the 23s. It's time for you to you know, show us that you can play men's football. And um, credit to Tamworth as well, really, for giving me that opportunity. And uh, I thought I did well. Got quite a few games under my belt. And um, hopefully I impressed the staff here at Wimbledon as well. You mentioned Toby Civic there. That's the objective now. You have to put that pressure on him for the right-back slot. Um, yeah, it's a strange one because obviously uh, Toby's obviously a young lad as well, so we're all we're all very good friends. And um, but you know we all want to we all want to get to the same goal, and hopefully he can push me and I can push him, and we can do what's great for the club. What's what he said he wants from you now in, in this stage of your career? Um, he said, you know, you, you're, you're 20, almost 21. You just got to keep going now. It's it's a very important part of your career. This, this stage now, You've got to get some games under your belt. But you know. It's not, it's not just down to him, it's down to me to show him and show the other staff and you know, earn that respect from the senior first team players that you know, I'm ready to play and hopefully I can do that in pre-season and going forward from there. What have you made of the club now in terms of its survival? I mean, the, the supporters getting behind it, what the side achieved on that last night with Bradford? Well, I mean, the great escape was just fantastic really. I mean, not, not to say we was a write-off, but you know, we was, we was down there and you know, the lads, they dug deep. For, for I don't know how many games that, that they had to do but you know it was fantastic from the lads I mean I was in and around with them and training and stuff and you know it was fantastic the attitude was immense really it was almost like you know I was fighting for the league title I mean the attitude from everyone staff players everyone really you know got together and it kind of came as a collective really and I was at home for the for that Bradford game but I was on my phone checking every five seconds really and you know Fantastic result from the lads, and uh, I was celebrating at home and watching everyone's Instagram stories and Snapchats. But you know, it was, it was fantastic, really, and I had to congratulate every single one of them, even the players that have gone. And you've been around that group, as you said, you've been in the training sessions, you've been through the initiations as well. How have you found all of that? 
Uh, it's been good, you know. Obviously, uh, a few people might have uh, seen me sliding through some some wood, but you know, it was a good day. You know, you got to do those things as a footballer, and especially as a young player. You know, it comes with the game. Really, you got to earn respect from a lot of senior players that have played at a good level at this club. Are you excited about the challenge because it looks like Wally's putting a young squad together this season? Yeah, it's going to be a good challenge really. We've got some really good pre-season games coming up, a trip to Germany as well. Everyone's excited for that and like I said, he's putting together a young squad. But you know, as a young squad, we need to show that we're, that we're, that we're men as well. And, and the lads have obviously done that, that have played last season. And so hopefully now for me to join those lads.